Cadillac's Ultra Luxury Celestique, Celestic, whatever. This is that one sort of flagship car that we had talked about a while ago, but then you didn't really hear much about. And then obviously we had the SUV in studio, which is not this. This one is meant to be ultra luxury to the tune of 500 of them being made a year maximum, hmm. which is pretty wild. Well, at 300K, uh, it kind of makes sense. The Halo car is what they're going to consider it. And it's because it's going to have the next generation of GM's driver assist technology, which they call Ultra Cruise. Uh, this is like autopilot, obviously, or full self-driving or whatever. They say it'll work in 95% of driving scenarios and over 2 million miles of paved roads in the U.S. Here's the quote. This will get you going. We're attempting to have this feature be sort of a door-to-door -door driverless operation. That sounds compelling. Door-to-door -door driverless operation. Just input the location and go. Yeah, okay, full self-driving. Running on Qualcomm Snapdragon ride program. Uh, scroll up just to, to the first paragraph. There we go. So apparently the uh, the display, like we don't know much about it at the moment. 500 built each year. The screen is going to be enormous. Apparently it will be even larger than the one that we showed off in the Lyric, which was 33 inches spanning from the driver's side all the way across the dash. This one is going to be better than that one, as it should be, I guess, for 300 grand. But apparently, you know, a lot of people thought that it would be like a lot of people were skeptical that it would actually that they would actually only make 500 of these and th that it would actually be a $300,000 flagship car. I think if you make 500 of them, there's going to be demand because people are just going to want to have it for the exclusivity. There's probably going to be a resale market for these things. Mm -hmm. Like just, a Rolex. Yeah, this is, gonna, this is about to be a Patek. Philippe over here. <laughs> Don't mind that. Uh... See if you can find any better images of it because these are only close-ups. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I think these are all like artist renderings, right? Well, like the Cadillac is back. You know, that prestigious luxury Cadillac of, of yesteryear. It's like everything gets to be reborn in uh, EV land. You get to take all the history and everything put it all back no one's worried about gas mileage and no everybody wants a luxury and tech feature so yeah i'm curious to see what it actually looks like I, and we will shortly by the way I, I i saw your exact build bronco this weekend oh. uh was i driving was I, I was actually talking to the guy he said he oh. the only reason with the hard top oh you talked to him yeah what was the color you got it was the urbanized gray yeah this he had your exact build with the, guy. <laughs> with the hard top, but he said he was uh, a day one order. Um, which model? Black Diamond? Uh, Drain plugs? Show me Black Diamond. Show me Black Diamond real quick. Um, the thing about Bronco, like the, the front grill just looks a l slightly different from the other. Right. So it might. I'm going to just say yes, regardless. Might be hard to tell. Yeah. Carbonized gray is the dark gray, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because I said to him what you said to me. I just looked at him and said, you got the hard top. You didn't like, ask about the drain plugs? Man? I was like, well, no, I didn't. Most important. I didn't go straight to the drain. It would have oh. been a little awkward. <laughs> Show me your drain plugs now. No. It would have been a little awkward. I would have said it. But, uh, yeah, it was looking good, man. Yeah, right? It, it was looking good. Yeah. I highly I highly recommend in the in the presence of it. So...